Um, in this video, we're going to start talking about uh, polynomial division, how to divide uh, polynomials. Um, but we're not actually going to divide polynomials here. We're just going to lay the foundation and uh, establish uh, a lot of the ideas that are going to be important as we start dividing polynomials. Now, because uh, there are a lot of features uh, that are similar between polynomials and integers uh, we're actually going to take one more step back and look at how um, you know division of integers works and uh, get some uh, concepts and uh, terminologies uh, from there uh, that we are then going to use in um, the division of uh, polynomials so for starters uh, if we have uh, 23 uh, divided by 5 so we've got 23 divided by 5 then we know that 5 goes into 23 four times and then there is a remainder of uh, 3 um, now um, this we can write alternatively uh, the right hand side as a 4 plus 3 fifths okay so that's equivalent to this statement here now if we multiply everything here by 5 uh, then uh, this can uh, all of a sudden look as uh, follows so multiply everything this by 5, this by 5, and this by 5. Then on the left hand side, we are now going to have 23. On the right hand side, we're going to have 4 times 5 plus 3. Now, for some terminology uh, and uh, notation, if you like, the number that we divide is called the dividend so this one is called the dividend that number we divide by is called the divisor uh, this one of course the remainder is just the remainder the number we get from the division the four in this case is called the quotient so um, in this last expression here we have expressed the dividend in terms of the quotient times the divisor plus the remainder and this relationship is always true whenever you have done a division mm -hmm. Now, um, something that is uh, important that we are going to note um, uh, is the relationship or some relationships in terms of uh, the dividend, the divisor, and the remainder. The first one that we're going to note is that uh, the dividend is always greater. It may be equal to the divisor so that is always going to be the case and then the divisor or rather let me talk about the, rem the remainder is always smaller than the divisor so this number here is always going to be smaller than this number there so that means uh, the divisor is always bigger than the remainder okay so this is the situation with uh, integers. Now, um, when it comes to polynomials, uh, which is uh, what we want to do, dividing polynomials, there are going to be some parallels. So in this case, the dividend or the polynomial that we're going to want to divide, we're going to denote P of X. The divisor, we're going to denote d of x so then this thing is going to give us a quotient 
which we're going to call q of x and then there is there are going to be a remainder which we're going to call r of x so in the case of a polynomial so we're going to have a dividend we're going to divide it by um, some divisor we're going to get a quotient and then there is going to be a remainder all these may be um, are typically going to be functions of x of course and then for this step similarly here then we can write p over d is equal to q of x plus r of x divided by d of x so that line is exactly the same as that line there and then similarly if we multiply everything by the divisor so multiply this by d multiply this by d and multiply this by d then we can express uh, the dividend uh, as the quotient uh, times the divisor plus the remainder so here we're going to have p of x is equal to q of x times the divisor plus the remainder so this is always going to be true whenever we perform uh, in a division and then this inequality is going to hold equally well when we divide polynomials but it's going to be in terms of the degrees of these uh, quantities or these expressions here so this is our um, dividend so the inequality is going to say the degree uh, of uh, p of x is always going to be greater or equal to the degree of the divisor and then the degree of the divisor is always going to be strictly greater than the degree of the remainder so that is exactly the same inequality we had there for integers but for polynomials there is one more there is actually an equation um, which we don't have an equivalent for in the case of integers and the equation says the degree of the dividend is always going to be equal to the degree uh, of the divisor plus the degree of the quotient so that means uh, the the degree of uh, these two expressions here should always add up to the degree of that expression there that means if we know the degree of the dividend and the degree of the divisor then automatically we know the degree of the quotient even before we perform the division um, so these are some of the uh, ideas that we need before we start and then uh, maybe one uh, or two more things um, for integers if the remainder is zero then the divisor is called a multi uh, a um, factor of the dividend uh, and the quotient is also going to be a factor so and that applies equally well even for polynomials so if the remainder is a zero um, then what this means is that the divisor um, is a factor of the dividend 
and uh, in fact even the quotient is going to be a factor so the divisor and the quotient are going to be factors of the dividend and then the dividend on the other hand is called a multiple of the divisor and the quotient is uh, a multiple of the divisor so the these expressions are going to be true uh, both for um, integers and for polynomials okay so these are just some of the ideas that we need uh, before we start dividing polynomials this one is particularly important for us to carry it through as we're going to start dividing polynomials of course and this one All right so uh, thank you for watching the video please do not forget to subscribe and if you've got any questions or comments um, then you are will be happy to hear from you just post them in the comment section thank you